Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I would like to talk about coenzyme Q10. What is CoQ10 and who needs to consider taking CoQ10? CoQ10 is available as ubiquinone and ubiquinol. Uh, ubiquinone, it's found in the mitochondria of many organs, including heart, kidney, liver, and skeletal muscle, and it's needed for energy production within muscle cells. After digestion, the reduced form ubiquinol predominates in our systemic circulation. CoQ10 is a potent antioxidant and may have a role in maintaining healthy skeletal, uh, healthy muscle function. Uh, and even though a clinical significance is unknown, a decreased level of CoQ10 has been reported in Parkinson's disease. And now we want to have a look which medication cause a decreased level of CoQ10. Statins are a type of medication uh, used to decrease cholesterol by inhibiting uh, hydroxymethyl glutarol coenzyme A uh, reductase enzyme. This enzyme is required for the production of CoQ10. Statins have been shown to decrease the level of uh, CoQ10, uh, which uh, uh, may block steps in uh, muscle cell energy production uh, that leads to statin-related muscle pain. There is a hypothesis. If you decrease uh, the level of CoQ10 in uh, both muscle tissue and in the blood stream, uh, you decrease energy production in muscle cells and which leads to muscle pain, uh, weakness and inflammation. One of the largest studies, Vendrovastatin, one of the type of statin was used in patients with heart failure. There were no associations between statin-related low CoQ10 level and uh, a worse heart failure outcome. More information is required to determine which patients with statin-related muscle pain would benefit most from supplementing CoQ10. Well, CoQ10 has a structural similarity with vitamin K and an interaction between CoQ10 and warfarin, which is a blood thinner, has been reported. Uh, CoQ10 may decrease the effect of warfarin and it should be avoided. My general advice is, before taking any supplements, talk to your doctor and healthcare professional. Uh, the first approach would be always making dietary changes, having plenty of fruits and vegetables, and consuming twice or three times a week fish uh, would replenish um, the decreased level of CoQ10. And secondly, the type of statins probably should be changed. Some statins uh, do not concentrate in muscle cells as much as others. And lastly, some patients would benefit from supplementing CoQ10, but make your own research, talk to your doctor and healthcare professional before making decisions about any supplements. I see you in the next video.